There is no love without impact. Am I communicating here? I hear you. I want to tell you something today. People might not like your face. People might not like you. But if you are a professional, they cannot do without you. They will still come to do what? To clap for you. Especially when they are your, when they form a clique that call themselves fan. Amen and amen. Amen. You don't need to kill yourself or praying that people will, will like you, will love you. They want to see impact. Amen. What am I trying to say? My daughters, add value to yourself. You are crying that you lost a battle. A man that wanted to marry you, all of a sudden he said, what? I will no longer marry you. Something might have happened. It might not be that people blackmail or send a negative signal. No. It might be because you lost a in character. I don't know the content of your character. If that character is repulsive, change. If your life is toxic to people around you, change. Re-engineer yourself. Am I communicating at all? I hear you. I want to tell you, you are created to be a champion. But you cannot be a champion without adding value to yourself. You are created to be number one. Even in the realm of the spiritual. If you want to stand strong, if you want to remain relevant, you must be aggressive in the realm of the spirit. You must be an aggressive prayer warrior. You must be an aggressive prayer warrior. You must prophesy until your eyes turn red. You must fast until the last strength in your, in your, in your is given out. Someone shout, I hear you, Father. I hear you, Father. In life, there are troubles everywhere. That's why Ginger Crusoe said that man is free, but everywhere in chains. I want to tell the child of God here, on your way to stadium, expect trouble. On your way to land of promise, expect trouble. Kings will see you and attack you. When they discover that they cannot, that they cannot conquer you, they bow to your authority. As a priest of God, I prophesy. I they will surely bow to your authority in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. What am I trying to say? Tribulations are part and parcel of life. Viewers, as you are hearing my voice this morning, I have something to tell you. Disappointment is part and parcel of life. Momentary delay is part and parcel of life. Oh, sorrow is part and parcel of life. Rejection is part and parcel of life. But I want to tell you that you are rejected today does not mean that you are a failure. That you are disappointed today does not mean that the journey has ended. That you are despised today does not mean that there are people who don't love you, my children. Don't allow crowd to control your disposition. Instead, be the one that will control their disposition. My children, in life, dispose yourself for tribulation. Gospel of John 16, 33, the word of God said, you will have tribulation, you will have persecution, but be of good cheer. I have conquered the world. I want you to know that what you are passing through some people have passed through such situation and they came out victorious. And you too will come out victorious. I am a champion, I am a winner. I am a champion, I am a winner. Now, you, you cannot answer a champion not until you have tested the ring. Not until you have tested the ring. You cannot answer a champion. Am I communicating here? I hear not you. Not until you have tested the ring. For the most of the over your life here. I receive. You are the champion of champion in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. What does that mean? You, you have endured the tribulation. You have conquered it. You have embraced hardship and they conquered it. You have embraced the rejection of the world and they conquered it. That is when you will go by the title a champion. I am telling the child of God here. It doesn't mean that champion has not failed in battle. Most often they failed. Most often they are knocked out of the ring. But they re-engineered themselves. They came back and won their defeated battle. I don't know the battle you have lost in the past. I don't know the battle your family have lost in the past. This time around, you are going back to win your lost battle. Amen. And somebody shout a thunderous amen. Amen. You are going back, my children, to win your lost battle. Amen. You are going back to win your lost battle. Amen. Hey, prayer, my mama. The battle you. that stopped your father will not stop you. Listen, my children, you are in your trial moment. Everybody has a trial moment. Everybody has a trial moment. And the trial moment is the moment of divine silence. For the most of we say that silence of God is speaking fully in your life. I repeat again, 
everybody has a trial moment. But I want to tell you, your trial moment is your moment of divine silence. When God is silent, it does not mean you are abandoned. When God is silent, it does not mean that you are rejected. I am telling the child of God here. God may be silent in your life for a month. God may be silent over your situation for two years. God may be silent for three years. Look at our brother David, our brother Joseph. For 13 years, God was silent over his situation. But at the appointed time, God spoke. The moment God speaks, <laughs> when God speaks, it means that the appointed time has come. Child of God, Yahweh Sabaoth is speaking over your situation. I can hear a voice saying, that the last time, the ugly situation of my children has come to an end. What are you passing through, my children? I prophesy. I will see. Amen.